Grand National Roaster Show, Saturday, day two. And we're here with Dwayne Vance, better known as Future Elements. It's futureelements.net. He, of course, is one of our great artists on the hub. It's good to see you, man. Good to see you, too, man. Now, we're standing in front of some of your prints right here. But what you've got going, actually, is a, a book and, a, and a, a DVD, I guess, of your artwork. It's called the Hot Rod Art Book. What is it? Masters of Chicken Scratch. Can you explain that to us? Uh, well, I came up with the Hot Rod Art Book because no one had that name on the internet. Pretty basic. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's easy to search. People can find it real easy. But I wanted a tagline that was a little bit catchy and not too serious. Because a lot of the artists on there, we're not a bunch of serious guys. We like to hang out, have fun, and car shows and stuff like that. So I thought a chicken scratch, because you know when we're younger, we like to draw and it looks like chicken scratch. Right. So I called it Masters of Chicken Scratch, because all of us have become professionals at a drawing chicken scratch. <laughs> well, tell us about some of the other artists that are in the book. I know that you got a few that are up on the hub. James Owens, Max Grundy. Who are some of the other guys featured in the book? Uh, some of the other guys still go down the, the hub garage. Um, they're, they're on the Hub Garage. There's Eric Brockmeyer um, and uh, Jimmy Smith. And then there's uh, several others that aren't featured on the Hub. Justin Chin, uh, Larry Wood from Hot Wheels. We've got Steve Stanford. And he's really hard to get a hold of because he, he refuses to post on the web. So, and, uh, and Tom Taylor. So, so I got some big names in there along with some smaller names and kind of create a really neat piece of art there. Now is this here at the Grand National Roadster Show kind of the debut of the book? Yes it is. This is the first launch that I've had of the book. I only have a hundred for the show and then I received the rest of the shipment in February. Nice and I can see that you don't have a lot left. You're selling out pretty well. Now you got to tell the hub heads out there how they can get their hands on this book. You can order the book online and it's at uh, www.hotrodartbook.com. Really easy to remember. Hotrodartbook.com, just the way the book is titled, Masters of Chicken Scratch. That's right. In addition to that book, which is only 40 bucks, that's a bargain, you got $5 t-shirts. Yes, I have $5 t-shirts. How are you getting away with that? I mean, you getting a little profit on those? Yeah, just a tiny profit, but you know, brings in the crowd, sells some stuff, and they usually buy a book too, so. That's cool, yeah, you can package them together. Now, you might recognize the t-shirt because I was wearing one in the Troy Ladd episode of uh, Top Shops that we did. I love that shirt, man. I think it's really cool the way you got the roaster coming over the shoulder. Thank you. Yeah, that, that uh, shirt's done really well. It's kind of different. Wanted to put something up here instead of in the middle. Kind of trying some stuff, and uh, I'll be launching some new designs this year, too. Now, Dwayne Vance is the artist. His uh, website is futureelements.net. Now, you're kind of the quintessential future artist because when I came up here I was going oh here you go here's the originals and you said actually no these are prints the originals you do right on a computer right I do most of my digital stuff um, either using Photoshop or painter and most of this stuff that gives it the real painterly look I do in painter and I work with actually Corel and I work with them on their new development of their new programs and things like that so it's kind of a and it's kind of different because a lot of people aren't used to figuring out that, oh, there's really not an original. So it's a little bit risky as well, but a lot of people are kind of attracted to that too because they don't realize you can do this digitally to make it look like natural media. Yeah, and that's exactly right. It does look like natural media. I mean, I'm an amateur at you know, art, and I wouldn't really be able to tell that this was anything but an original piece. Now, I, I jokingly called it a kind of a high-tech Etch-a-Sketch before, but that's essentially what it is. You're actually doing the rendering right on the computer screen. Correct. Yeah, I have a monitor from Wacom Cintiq, and I actually draw right on the screen. So it's just like using a tablet or a, or a piece of canvas to paint on. Really cool. And on the hub, there's actually a really cool video of Dwayne doing a rendering, and uh, kind of it's cut down so you can see the process of what he's talking about. Uh, it took you about 20 minutes, but you cut it down to about a one minute video? Right, yeah, it was, uh, it was originally done on a Nintendo DS, the little handheld device. And uh, there's a company called Colors, and they made a free program for it, so I decided to try it out. And it records every step of your process, so then I cut the video down to a minute. Once again, Dwayne Vance is the artist, Future Elements Garage up on the Hub. Let's talk about the Hub for a second. How's your experience been? Actually, I love the hub. You know, it's only been around for, what, less, about, about a year. year. Yeah, about a year. And I've gotten a lot of business out of it. I've made a lot of people, a lot of new friends and stuff. It's a really cool community to be involved with. I love it. Well, you're one of our uh, premier members, too, because the work you do is so killer. How did you get interested in cars and in, in the Roadsters in particular? Um, I actually grew up around cars. 
Uh, my dad's actually a minister, <laughs> but he's always been into cars as well. And uh, I, me and him fixed up my first uh, car at age 16. I had a 67 Mustang. And then from there on, I kind of got involved with several friends that went to hot rod shows all the time and just always was around it. And then I went to school for transportation design. So it was kind of a natural selection that I fell back into the hot rod roots. And I just, I love it. I do it as a hobby. And then um, I also draw futuristic stuff as well. So. Yo, yeah, well, that's actually another one of my favorites is down here. This one's called uh, Future Muscle, and uh, that's one that caught my eye when I was checking out your garage. So so which would you say you're more a fan of, the, the vintage stuff or the future stuff? You know, I, I think I love them both so much that I try to combine them. If you look at a few of the images that I drew in my book, you can kind of see the combination of using old school technology but kind of combining it in a futuristic way to kind of create a unique look. One of the guys who's in your book, also a member on the hub, Max Grundy, he's kind of into that futuristic retro as well. You guys uh, kind of share that vision. Yeah, I would say we do. And he's definitely inspired by, you know, old World War II images and things like that of the old propaganda posters and stuff. And I look at a lot of World War II aircraft and tanks and things like that that inspire my design and, and art. That's awesome, man. Once again, Dwayne Vance is the man. FutureElements.net is the website. Future Elements Garage is on the hub. Check him out. Dwayne, thanks for joining us, man. Thank you. Right on. This is Dwayne Vance with Future Elements, and I'm at the Grand National Roadster Show, and you're watching Hub TV.